Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 17 of May I Scrap With You and to a Spiegel Mom Scraps project. So today I'm deviating a little bit from the list for a couple of reasons. I always, always um, include my friend Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life in my list every year. And the layout that you can see up here in the corner really just fit with the idea I had for my Spiegel Mom Scraps uh, layout for today. Now, another reason I wanted to use uh, this particular layout of Christie's is that it's on black cardstock. And I don't do that often enough. And I love the effect of black cardstock with some bright, bright, colors so I wanted to do that and then the whole star theme because I have this photo I finished remember I told you very recently that I finished Erica's album and I thought I did and when I put it all together to give it to her for her birthday which I did do I realized there was one page left that I didn't do so I said okay I'll just do that quickly for you and I'll get you that page separately and this is the photo that I wanted to get done. So the size fits with this layout, the stars uh, fit with this layout because I wanted to use Cool Girl, these gorgeous sequins. And there are all sorts of little tiny stars in this sequin mix. So I think it's still available in the shop. I'm not sure. It's a fairly recent release. Was it maybe February, March? Um, it wasn't April. I'm pretty sure it wasn't April. Maybe it was April. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. But if I, if I can remember, I will try and put it down below exactly what release it was from. But I'm pretty sure you can still get it. Just use my, my quick link down below there that will get you over to the shop. So... My idea and what I started with here is um, a 12 by 12 stencil from Scrapping Reflections. And it's a full 12 by 12 of stars in various sizes. And I love that. So I just got that down and I used my golden light molding paste and did the diagonal. And the other reason I like this layout is it's pushing me out of my comfort zone because I I love a diagonal embellishing, but I, my go-to is always top left to bottom right. So I thought this would challenge me a little bit as well. So what I've done so far is to get that uh, molding paste down and then use some of these lovely tiny iridescent stars look at that my friend isn't that fun and i sort of while the um texture paste molding paste was still wet i just popped the stars in there and i love 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 that effect and then what i plan on doing is getting some more in between the stars and then using some of these lovely textured round ones which are iridescent as well now for my photo i'm thinking i might do a few more layers than christy did and i might be i'll go into my scraps here so this is going to be a little bit of a scrap the scraps as well christy has lots of die cut stars as well. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to go with that. Let's have a look here at maybe trying to map the photo and then I may go off screen. Let's see. I do like this. Yeah, I think we definitely want to bring that in. Yeah, I do like that. So let's, oh, and you see, I do want to bring this in as well that is going to be a fun layer so we have that and then maybe something in between these all right so and i am going to try and do this freehand i'm gonna channel my inner 
Chanel and see if I can sort of just cut these out. Will that fit there? Oh, almost, but not quite. All right, so let's pop that here. I'm going to do this one quite narrow. So let's see. I'm not necessarily... I love fussy cutting, but I'm not necessarily all that good at using my scissors. Oh, actually, look at that. That's not bad at all. Okay, let's bring that. I think I need to do it this way. There we go. That's not too, too bad, my friends. Okay, I'm not too bad. Now, would I maybe... Because I definitely want to bring this in as well. And we'll make that a larger... I do like that because it's got a little bit of black and it's got all of these lovely colors in. So I definitely want to do that. Let's see. Do I want to put maybe this? No, that's brown. I definitely don't want brown. Don't want any brown. No. Don't like any of that. something in like this. No. Let's see. Would I want to put a little bit of black in between that? I kind of like that. Okay. So do I have any black in here? I don't think I do. But I do think I like the effect that that gives. Would I want any of this? No. All right, I think those are the two that I want. So let me go see if I can find a larger piece of black cardstock. Okay, my friends, I did get a bigger piece. Oh, how did my photo get inside? There we go. All right, so I did get a larger piece of black, so that will fit perfectly, and I do like that. I won't make it too wide, but I won't make it the same width as that. So let's not make it too, too wide, but let's make it a little bit wider than what is there. All right. There we go. And then, now I might, I kind of like the tearing, so I think I'm going to leave that. Yeah, I think I am going to leave that. I kind of like the tearing. And that is something that Christy does quite often. Now, she didn't do it on this layout, but it is something that she does quite a bit get this nice and wide and then there we go I think I like that and then the photo will go right here so the same way that Christy has it um, I like that all right I like that my friends now I need to go off and think about what more I can get on here. Christy's title is sort of here, so that could be fun. Um, get my title here the way she has, or I might put it over here, and then do a little bit of embellishing here. I don't think I want to get some large stars because I don't want to take away from these sequins, and I want to get a lot more sequins on there which is why I want to go and get my photo gown and then we'll see where we go from there so I'm going to go do a little bit of work my friends and I will be back and here is the completed layout and I love it now it's a little bit different uh than Christie's layout I guess in the embellishing and the finishing but what I really really wanted to capture was 
the stenciling on the background and the sequins because if you look at Christie's layout of course she has lots of sequins um, spread around sprinkled around her mixed media as well so I had forgotten to show you I mentioned the stencil but this is the stencil I used from Scrapping Reflections and I love it because it's got different sizes of stars of course it's got some white space um and i find it, i just i love her 12 by 12 stencils so there you go and i used my golden light molding paste and i really do like that as well because if you look here and and i spread it fairly thin you can still see some of the cardstock behind it you you wouldn't do that you wouldn't really see that on white but I do like the light molding paste. You can put it thicker. I also have some of the Vicky Wooten molding paste, I think, which I quite, quite like as well. So I got my picture down uh, when I just uh, went off screen, as I said I would. And that then gave me the area where I could go and add a lot more sequins. I did not add any more on the stars, but I filled in a lot of the space between the stars with all sorts of different sequins from this cool girl mix. And I really, really love it. It's iridescent. So some give off some pinks, purples, uh, silver. I added uh, a couple of the stars as well. I used even some blue. But they all give off a lovely uh, iridescent sheen as well. So that you know, in a way, is sort of the focus embellishing of the layout. Photo down, got all of these gorgeous sequins. Then I went into my Vicky Booten Discover and Create uh, because I thought this was fun and a little bit whimsical. And uh, Christy does have part of her title down here, so fun in the sun. And I used the Pink Fresh alphas I forgot to bring them that I used in a recent layout I really I'm really enjoying these um stickers remember at the very beginning I was telling you ooh, I have a little trouble with you know these different sizes colors uh patterns but in the end they're it's lovely and whimsical so I can't put it on every type of layout but I've used it I think so far is it three times or maybe four and I really do love the effect. I just put a sticker down here, here and there. Going places, I got from my Adventure Awaits kit, the thickers from the coast to coast. Pop that up there. A Nicole Jones 911 uh, viewfinder here. This was uh, sitting in my chipboard sort of scrap bowl on my desk. Uh, another little sticker just popped in there. So... Uh, just a touch of a diagonal this way, but not enough to make it an X, which I would not like. Um, so really, and, and I enjoy that I did this diagonal from top right to bottom left, as I mentioned before. A couple of little chipboard asterisks here. And um, then the only last, and I'm still not sure, quite frankly, because I left the largest stars here, two of them, with nothing. And I, I don't know, I felt they were a little bit empty. So I just popped, this is from a sticker sheet, and this is from uh, Chipboard, I can't remember. Wait, I think it is, it maybe discover and create I'm not sure and I just popped those there I, I I'm still not absolutely sure that they were needed what do you think I, I I think you know this the star was probably fine the way see so tell me tell me in the comments what you think I'm not sure I really need this but there it is okay let's put it back a little bit differently all right my friends so there you go Day 17 in the books. Thank you, Christy, for the lovely, lovely inspiration. 
Um, make sure I, I will, of course, have Christy's channel down below. Uh, make sure you pop on over at the moment. She's doing a lot of videos sharing um, all of the gorgeous layouts that were done during 30 Days of Sketches, everybody's takes on the sketches. And she is doing some of her own 12 by 12 uh, layouts based on those sketches and they're interspersed within those videos. So make sure you go on over and see what Christy is up to. The playlist, of course, will be down below. Uh, my affiliate link over to Spiegel Mom Scraps will be down below as well. Don't forget to use my code Moira15, M-O-I-R-A-1-5, to get a little bit of a discount on your order. And I will see you back here very, very soon. Thanks for being here, my friends. Bye for now.